So one thing that's also important to note about the life cycle of insects is how many times do they emerge a year? We have several species that have the ability to speed their life cycle up based on water temperature and air temperature and emerge many times throughout the year. Typically that's gonna be in your summertime or your warmer months. It's not gonna be in the middle of the winter, although there are some insects that we, aquatic insects that we do have that emerge in the winter. They're not gonna be as important in fly fishing. But the way we classify that is called voltanism, and that's um, how many, again, how many life cycles that they have within the year. And so univoltine would mean that there's one emergence throughout the year. So something like a green drake hatch or a brown drake hatch, that would be something with one big emergence per year. So we would call that univoltine. Something that's bivoltine would have two emergences per year. So we have a couple of different insects that can do that. We have things that are um, semi-voltine. That means it takes them multiple years to emerge. And so that would be an example. That would be like your salmon fly that takes three to four years to emerge. And so knowing again where those emergences are and knowing that there's not just gonna be a salmon fly emergence every four years. All these generations are staggered, and so some years may be better than others. That may be due to flows or weather or you know a catastrophic event or something like that, but there are lots of different ways to look at how these emergences are gonna happen. Um, it's all a math problem when it boils down to it. It's called degree days, and you can look up the math problem for that, but you can plug it all in. I remember having to do this in my economic entomology class in college, and you can figure out how long it's gonna take for something to emerge. And again, you can speed up those life cycles due to temperatures, you can slow down those life cycles due to adverse conditions or temperatures and things like that. So um, there are quite a lot of different variables that go into when an insect emerges. But as a pro tip here, you have this handy little thing probably in your pocket called an iPhone, and if you've got one, it's got a timestamp on it. And so I typically take pictures of insects that I see and usually have a timestamp related to that and when I wanna record an emergence. And then you can go back and reference that. And a lot of times um, things end up happening within the same week year after year.